and welcome to my channel. Today's video is so exciting because I'm doing a fully furnished apartment tour. We've lived here for about a year now and it is finally done. It's a two bedroom, two bathroom, has a, like an open living room and kitchen style. So I'm gonna do my best to link everything in the description. If it's unavailable, I'll try to find similar things, but if you're wondering about anything, then check out the description box. Without further ado, let's just get into the video. As soon as you turn to this side right after you walk in the front door, we have our key holder, which we got this in Italy, so kind of a sentimental piece. We keep our keys on there. Then we have these hooks, which we got from Target. Just bought all the like purses, necessities, and things you're grabbing right before you leave. And then this mirror is also from Target. It was on clearance a couple of years ago, but just a little piece to check your hair or whatever before you're walking out the door. And then when you turn to the other side, we just have a like maintenance closet and then our washer and dryer, which are in here, and then the thermostat. So kind of just the necessities right as soon as you're walking in the door. Then you walk into the kitchen area. So we bought this pantry. It's like a corner pantry from Ikea and it actually works perfect in the space. Then into the main kitchen area, we have our fridge. I didn't know if I was gonna be one of the people that sticks things on the fridge, but love these little Polaroids that we have and little magnets, so it's just kind of fun and sentimental. Honestly, probably my least favorite part about our apartment is the kitchen, and because we're renting, we can't do too much about it, like the cabinet colors. I probably wouldn't choose. It's a lot darker color scheme than I normally like, but regardless, we have microwave, stove. I do love our tea kettle. It was a wedding gift, very cute. And we just have all of like dishes, tubware, cooking appliances, all of that. We do have quite a bit of storage, which is nice. Then over here, we have more cabinets, our dishwasher. We're dishwasher people, we use it every single day. Then this little fruit stand holder thing, which is from Ikea. We keep like avocados, our fruit, bananas, whatever, and then some of my favorite mugs, along with a little picture there and some plants. So that's kind of a cute thing that right up our kitchen and I like a lot. Then we have our bar island area. So the sink here, we do obviously lots of dishes, so it's very nice how open it is. Underneath we have our like cleaning supplies and stuff like that. And then trash can is beside here. Honestly, we picked like a really skinny one because it is kind of a skinnier walkway, but it's like a good spot for it there. And then also it has the pendant lighting, which this just came with the apartment and I think that it's really cute. And our bar stools are super simple. They are from Ikea and they lift and lower. So just something that's nice to tuck away, but extra seating. So yeah, that's the kitchen area. Then we have this second entryway area and this whole display was kind of an idea of Josh's. So the shelves are from Target and then some of the little decor, it's like anthropology, um, a little plant store, some thrifted things. So again, just some sentimental stuff to kind of make it our own. And then obviously you might recognize these photos from us traveling. The frames are from Hobby Lobby, just an inexpensive way to like make a cute little wall. And then this is one of my favorite pieces from the apartment. I actually don't remember the website that I got it from. It was a very random find, so I will link it down in the description. But it's just this clear acrylic, and I think it looks so cute. Then we decided to add this Target shoe rack, and I actually got it from Ava Jules when she did her like house tour. She linked that, and I absolutely love it. It's so nice, it keeps our shoes out of the way. This vase is from Publix, and then this is a thrifted item. So a lot of little thrifted things, and then we always get our flowers from Trader Joe's. Next, you walk through here, and one of our favorite things in the house is our Bird of Paradise plant. We got it from Ikea, and the vase is from World Market. He is literally taller than me, um, but it just brightens up our apartment so much and I love it. Then over on this side, our end tables are from World Market. I was unsure at first if I liked how they were taller than our couch because it's like a low profile one, but I love them. We get a lot of compliments on them. They're super cute and have storage. And then I know I keep saying a favorite thing, but literally our favorite thing would be the couch. So it looks just like the restoration hardware, um, the cloud couch, which is so freaking expensive. I had my eye on that, but I was like, I just literally 
we can't do that. Um, but I found this couch, it's from City Furniture, which I think they're a Florida-based company, but it is so comfortable, the material is so soft, and all the cushions, I mean, the downside of a low profile, like, I guess it's an undefined couch, is that you have to fluff the cushions and kind of keep it that plump or else they can get saggy, like where you typically sit. So we try to do a good job of that. Um, the white honestly hasn't been an issue. Stains have come out easily. So I highly recommend this couch. Then the throw pillows are all from World Market, I believe. We wanted stuff that was like the blues and the oranges that kind of just brighten a room. So all of those ones are from World Market. We might change those out, but it's nice that we have a very neutral couch. So that is an option. Then right here, we have our coffee table. This was an Ikea find. It was pretty inexpensive and I honestly love it. It has a little shelf underneath too that we like to keep a basket with our remotes. And then on top of the coffee table, we have a vase that it's just a glass pitcher. And then, like I said, we get our flowers from Trader Joe's. Then we have these coffee table books. So they are Italy and Escape, both by Gray Mullen, and we got them on Urban Outfitters. Super cute to look through, absolutely love those. And then the coasters are from Anthropology. Over here, we have our entertainment center, and I don't think I'm going to be able to link it because we got it from Home Goods and it was on clearance. So it's very cute. It has the closed doors here, which we just keep a lot of our like game systems or things you wanna tuck away. But it's also cute because we keep a lot of our candles in the side. And then it fits our TV, so it's kind of like literally the whole TV length. The rug is also from Home Goods. This was such a steal. I want to say it was 200, and a lot of the ones I was looking at online were like 800. So I'm really happy to find this. I love the coloring of it, and it brightens the room so much. Then if you walk over here, we have this leaning bookshelf, and this was an Urban Outfitters find, and we actually just got this recently. I love it. It's been so cute. It holds so many books and it's just like a nice slender piece to have right there. Okay, then on this side, we have the same end table that I showed on that side. So from World Market as well. Some of the little eclectic things are either anthropology, urban outfitters or thrifted. And then our, one of our favorite plants right here, it has grown literally so much. And I think the pot is from World Market, but it was a gift. So I will check and see about that one. But yeah, this is the main living room area. This is where we spend a lot of our time and it's so cozy. I feel like it has a lot of cute pops of color, but also, yeah, just super cozy and simple. Then when you walk this area, you've probably seen it. I think it's called the gold primrose mirror. And this mirror was an investment. It is expensive, but we got 30% off. And also it was just like, if you see this wall, it's kind of big but like you can't put much furniture on it because then you won't be able to walk through. So it was screaming that it needed a big, beautiful mirror and we pulled the plug, got it. It is so cute. I use it every single day. So definitely do not regret buying this. And when you keep walking through, we have the coffee corner. This is another favorite area in the house. I love my coffee. I love making it, all of that stuff. So this is a sentimental piece. It is the table covers of one of our favorite restaurants in Paris. And Josh installed it, I guess you would say, by finding this like wooden circle frame and then actually cutting the glass on it. So I don't really know how he did that, but he did. So props to Josh, little clap. Then we have this plant, which Josh and I always joke that it's like literally taking over our home. I don't understand how it grew so much and I've hesitated like cutting it because it just feels bad to like cut a plant. I don't know, but it's huge. The pot is from Urban Outfitters. The shelves are Target as well. It has just some little thrifted pieces or from Anthropology. Then I have my Nespresso, this little jar, which is from Home Goods. And this cabinet is also from Home Goods. This was something that it took a long time to find because of the height. I wanted something that was higher that I can like easily make so it's not bending over also not like super big or tall. And then we put these knobs on, which we got from Hobby Lobby. Inside just has a bunch of extra mugs and all of that stuff. So then right past the coffee counter, we have our dining room area and the table is from Ikea. These little placemats are also Ikea. 
The vase is from Urban Outfitters, and then the chairs are from Facebook Marketplace, actually. So this was a really good find. And it's kind of small for now, but it works perfectly in our space. And I would say the best part about this area are all of these open windows with our curtains. It just looks so beautiful. We love the view here and it's really nice to sit and have dinner and just like look out over the city. Then if you walk this way, you get to see our big pillar. So perks of living in a high rise building is the pillar. I don't know, it's kind of grown on me. I feel like it's fun and yeah, that's about it, pillar. <laughs> so then right here we have the balcony. The balcony is so scary to me. I feel like I've gotten a little bit more used to it since we've lived here for a little bit now, but yeah, let's just head outside. So it's quite a small balcony and the only thing that we have out here are a little table and chairs that I got from Home Goods. We don't wanna keep a lot out here just because of the wind and the weather and everything. So we haven't really decorated, but we do enjoy coming and sitting out and then like having a coffee or having a meal out here. So it is really nice to get some fresh air or open up the door. Then when you walk back this way, past the mirror, past the kitchen, we have our first bathroom. So this is the guest bathroom and pretty standard. It just has the vanity with one sink, mirror. Um, the lighting is quite yellow in here, so I don't love that, but it is nice for like taking a bath or mood lighting. And the shower curtain bath mat are both from Urban Outfitters. Um, Josh picked up this little artwork piece thing while he was thrifting, so we thought it was super cute. And then our bathroom is just a stand-up shower, so this is where I take my baths. I have a bath tray and yeah, just super standard. Then when you exit the bathroom and turn to this side, you have our office or I guess the second bedroom technically. So we will walk in here. And immediately when you walk in, you're greeted with big, beautiful windows and then honestly, we just finished furnishing in here. So I wanted something with a lot of storage. I got this shelving from Target. It's two stacked on top of each other. And then these little baskets are from Ikea. So it's just like able to stuff a lot of items in there. All of my new packages, this is like where they go before I figure out how to get them into my closet or um, what I'm shooting. And then along with that is this clothing rack. I used to have the stand-up one, but then I put this one up. It just like screws into the wall. It's from Amazon and it's so nice. It takes up only a little bit of space and I keep my new arrivals or things that I need to get pictures in right there. This corner, if you follow on TikTok, you're probably very familiar with. Um, the corner shelf is from Amazon. The little eclectic pieces are either from Urban Outfitters or they're thrifted. And then this chair, she is one of our only colored things in the apartment. So I knew I wanted something that was a cute, fun color. And we decided on this blue. It's from Urban Outfitters. It is actually quite comfortable. Like I can sit here and sometimes I'll end up doing work. So I like that a lot. Then I have our end table, which is from Target. And yeah, just super cute matches with that like tan wood aesthetic. And this coffee table book I got from Free People. It says Ibiza on it and it's just super cute. And then this is an anthropology coaster. The print that's on the wall is from our videographer from our wedding. It's Kennedy Nicole. Um, so I'll put her down in the description box. She actually took this picture in Positano, Italy while we were there. So it's kind of like, Whoa, that's cool. And then next to that, I have this mirror, which is from Urban Outfitters. Super cute and unique piece. I feel like it looks like something you could find at an eclectic like vintage store. So love that. And then over to my desk area. Uh, my desk is from World Market and the chair is as well. I really liked having this olive green color. Then this storage thing is from Ikea. This has honestly been so helpful. I keep a lot of my things to do in here. So I'm not going to go into all of the drawers, but this one is pretty organized out of the rest of them. Then we have a thrifted vase, a plant from a plant store, and just some other little thrifted things to like make it cozier in here. All right. So that takes care of my desk. But if you look over this way, this is Josh's portion. And honestly, he got the better end of the stick. There were a lot of decisions that I feel like I got to choose on and so one for him was that he got to choose the desk spot. So he has kind of the surround windows, which, you know, go off Josh. He does a lot more like computer stuff than I do. So it ended up being a good decision for him to have this. 
All of his stuff is Ikea, the chair, the desk, and then this storage cabinet underneath. And then the last part of our office, I am not going to open. This is the one and only closet we have that is not a bedroom closet. So it has suitcases, uh, the extra bedding, an air bed, our coats, random stuff. Like literally everything you can think of that you put in a garage or like don't want seen is in this closet. So Josh does a great job of organizing it, but that is the gist within there. So then when you leave the office, you come back through here, which we have already seen and our bedroom is on the far corner. So it also has a lot of good natural light. When you walk in here, it's just super bright, super open. The favorite part of the bedroom is obviously the bed. Um, so our bedding is from Urban Outfitters. Those big pillows are Target. And then this blanket is Minky. Our prints on the wall, I'm actually going to link the website because they are way cheaper than anywhere else that I found. Then we have both of our nightstands are from Urban and then the lamps are sadly home goods. I get a lot of questions about those. I'll see what I can do if I can find something similar. Then we have this, which I'm not even sure what you call it. because it's And maybe it's a dresser. I don't know, but we got it from Target. Very helpful. Josh keeps some of his stuff in these drawers and then I have like my hair things in there. Uh, this tray is from Home Goods. I keep all my perfume on it. This is a little jewelry box from Jack Maria, a thrifted jewelry box that I keep all my rings in. And then this necklace holder is from Home Goods as well. So just a lot of stuff for like organization, jewelry, perfume, etc. And then here we have another mirror. So this one is also from Home Goods. We get a lot of our stuff from there. I think it was like a hundred bucks, so it was pretty affordable for a mirror. We like to have a plant in every room. So this one has another hanging plant and honestly the color is super cute. It does not grow as fast, maybe because it gets a little less light. And then in this almost hallway area, we have Josh's closet on this side, which it has these big mirrors. We don't use these very often. I find that I don't like come back here to look in the mirror, but it is nice. And then my closet here, which is a little bigger. I organized it recently, so it's not like super organized because if you have an organized closet, like you're the CEO of the world, I guess. But I keep like all my sweatshirts and things there. I have a huge bin for my bikinis and then all hang up stuff, shoes, extra storage. So lots of clothes in there, a lot going on. Then we have the final room, which is a bathroom. master bathroom. It is so nice having the double sinks. So we have each our own sink and like under storage area. Josh has some towels because he has less things. And then under here I have all of my products. And by all of my products I mean some. And then I've pretty much taken all of the drawers. I have like a makeup drawer, a extra storage drawer, a hair tool drawer. Then here, this is probably the most aesthetic part of the bathroom. We got this shelf from Ikea and I keep all of my most used skincare and hair care products. And then the hooks are also from Ikea. It's just nice to have our towels there. Like I said before, this is just a stand up shower. So pretty standard, has like a little bench seat in it and then just our products. And then over here, we got this shelf from Target. It's nice to keep like extra towels, my little cosmetic bags. Just some extra things there and then my skincare fridge I have on top of this also another storage area which I got from Home Goods. so yeah that's the gist of the bathroom and pretty much everything that is in here all right that is it for the home apartment tour I hope that you enjoyed the video I will do my best to link everything in the description box so if you're having any questions about where things are from take a look there. I am so excited for all the videos that I have planned coming up and the more life that we're gonna live in our apartment. So thank you for following along. I hope you have a great rest of your day and thank you as always for watching.